Here at MacGyver's Workshop, we build, fix, or re-engineer just about anything. You never know what we'll be working on next. And if you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there, and welcome to another episode of MacGyver's Workshop. This video is going to be part two of uh, where we're going to replace the, uh, well it was originally just going to be the door for now, but uh, it's also going to be uh, the fender as well. Uh, the, uh, I'll get a, some better close-up shots here, but what has happened is this fender rusted and collapsed, it would pinch against the, you know, close this gap up and uh, pinch against the door and cause problems and bend the hinge mounts and all that sort of thing. So we're going to get deep into that and uh, in part one of the video we went to the, to the junkyard and uh, by luck found a white truck with, uh, uh, with a good door and fender and uh, We'll have to swap some parts over from the other door because it's been raped for some of its parts like the power window and the glass and all that so uh, but that's okay because all my glass and power window stuff is good it's just my door itself is hosed up so anyway we're going to get going here and uh, I guess the other little tidbit is is that the other truck uh, that we got the parts off of was an F-150 uh, this truck is an F-250 power stroke so we're going to have to uh, take our badges off and transfer those over. Can't have an F-150 fender on a Super Duty Power Stroke here. So anyway, let's get going. Um, I'll show you some close-up of all the carnage here. Okay, so what I've got here on the, on the truck is that the fender has rusted out terribly down there at the bottom. And has pinched the, the fender against the door causing all kind of mayhem there and in the meantime until I got the door or another door I had to bend that piece back out of the way but for the most part it was bent out about 90 degrees like that and it was just one of those things that we didn't worry about too much because you know it's an old farm truck but it's got to the point where you can't hardly get out of the door you know the inside door handle won't open the door and you got to reach out through the window and do this and you know, basically, you get that kind of nonsense going on, and that's just frankly very infuriating. So, uh, we're going to fix all that today, and we've got the, uh, there's our fender, not a touch of rust on that fender, I was really happy to get that, and there's our door, and yeah, a little plastic sun visor thing is uh, busted on it but you can get those from uh, either the auto parts store accessories or online I'll order a new one and glue it on and the only difference is is that this truck had the uh, chrome and white trim whereas my truck has the chrome and black trim or white yeah chrome and black trim whereas mine had a pinstripe on it but, you know, I really don't care because, you know, this is not a truck I'm showing off to anybody. It's just my good old truckie that uh, gets me around on the farm and gets done what I need to do when I need to do it. So, and uh, thus far it hasn't failed me in that regard. And uh, especially now with these monster mudder tires on here, I mean, we did not have any trouble at all going through any of the any of the chaotic mess that I have on my farm here and let me show you I'll show you a bit of it here as I said it's uh <laughs> you know this is the aftermath of a snowstorm we had uh, a couple days ago I mentioned it briefly in the video while we were at the junkyard but you can see all it ever does is either rain or snow here and 
you can see how it's just you know just made the ground so swampy and uh, I had to drive the truck through that and uh, didn't have no trouble at all with those mudder tires on it but those other tires it had I'd have been pulling it out with the tractor so, so we're gonna have our work cut out for us when the when the weather clears up and if, if it ever dries up that's just that's the crazy thing all it ever seems to do is rain around here it feels like Seattle so anyway let's get back inside and get busy and uh, I've got my wonderful assistant with me today and uh, he's gonna be helping me out here say hi hey guys and uh, we shall uh, we shall be getting cracking here Okay, the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get the uh, the headlight trim and all out of there. And that's going to be this bit right here that comes around the turn signal or the marker and this bit right here. Headlight will stay in uh, for the moment. I'm not sure. I don't think I have to pull the headlight out, but we'll see. And uh, in order to do that, you've got two Phillips head screws here, which I've already pulled out. And there are two, <clears throat> grab my flashlight here, there are two 11 millimeter nuts. There's one in there, and then there's one hiding back over in there. A little tough to get to, but it's doable. I'm not going to try and film me taking that out. It's, uh, it's going to be hard to see, but we'll get that out and uh, go from there. Okay, so I've gotten the two 11 millimeter nuts out without too much knuckle damage. And once you do that, you take these two screws off here, then the, uh, the school trim piece will come off, and then you're going to have to finagle the wire through for the side marker light. And when you get to that, you just get a little quarter or eighth of the turn counterclockwise for that. And then another one for the parking light. And I already took the turn signal bulb out. And there you have it. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do to do this uh, delicately is this black piece here holds the headlights and all that kind of stuff on there. And I'm really going to have to take that off because this fender here has to slide forward okay off of these studs and it's not going to be able to do that until I loosen all this okay sorry for the noise but like I said yesterday it is like brutally cold out it's going to eventually warm up a little bit today but right now it's still cold so I have my wonderful assistant there he's working on a couple of those bolts on that front plastic piece I just talked to you about. In the meantime, I got my heater going in here. son is learning the finer art of uh, uh, using 12 uh, year old bad language while he's trying to get bolts out and the wrench slips and he shears a knuckle but anyway we don't get that on tape uh, so while he's doing that I'm going to work on the fender here and uh, we're going to remove I'm going to move the camera here I'm going to remove the uh, F-150 logo, okay, and we'll remove the F-250 logo from the other fender, and hopefully the Power Stroke uh, diesel emblem without damaging it, no. it will never come off. Now see that's holding a little bit better than my plastic 
trim uh, remover can handle. So we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to get something a little stouter here, and uh, we're just going to have to be very careful not to damage. Okay, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to use a metal scraper here and very gently walk in here and cut through that double-sided stooge tape they've got. Without being very gentle, so you, you cannot scratch the paint at all possible. And thusly, off she comes. Well, that's some good stuff, eh? You're welcome. Okay, so what we have here is our weather strip and plastic adhesive. And what we're going to do is we're just going to apply it very delicately around the perimeter here. And uh, really no point in buying a new logo. But we want to stay to the inside, a good bit to the inside of the trim. Because we don't want this glue pooching out everywhere. I just want to be very, very gingerly with it. Of course, using this stuff is pretty much a one time only option because once you get this stuff to stick, it ain't coming off. Trust me. And then, what we'll do, we'll put something with a bit of weight on it here, hold it down. Leave that for a bit, and we'll go have a sip of coffee. Of course, my mug's incredibly dirty right now from being out here in the shop, but you check it out. It's a blueprint for a Dalek from Doctor Who. Tammy got me that for Christmas. Isn't it awesome? I love it. Anyway, and uh, we're almost done getting the trim off the front here, and we'll catch up on that in the next scene.